call aloud Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Wahara Kwakadash, double honors to the elder apostles, the elders and the apostles <clears throat> of Great Millstone out of New York who rule well and who taught us this truth. All right, and continue to um, basically blaze the trail of this thing we in. All right, the knowledge and power Yahweh Bashim, through the knowledge and power Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Um, Shalom and salutation to the Akim out there presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth. All right. The scriptures say, Shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well. This is the brother Yarmai from the Great Millstone Chicago camp. I'm basically coming to you with another lesson. Um, I was meditating on something. Let me get it. In the scripture, Proverbs 3 and 5. And it's a um, very relevant scripture, you know, going into the times that we're coming into, all right, with all this, these perils that's about to um, fall to earth, as the scriptures do say, all right, this is not a, um, <clears throat> a, um, a time to be playing around, all right, We're fucking around, all right, this is um, Proverbs 3 and 5, it says, trust in Yahweh with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding, and all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct your thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear your howl and depart from evil. And that's and that's 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 a guideline that we have to follow, man. All right. Verse five again. Trust in your howl with all thy heart, and lean not and lean not unto thy own understanding. And trusting in the Lord with all thy heart is trusting in the Lord with your mind. All right. Following the Spirit and power. Your howl by Shimmy howl shy, man. The Lord didn't give us all right this wisdom or the truth. Through the knowledge and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, and the tutelage of the elders. All right, to um to be some jokes, man. To be some jokes. To be walking uncircumspectly. All right. To be emotional, over emotional, or following after the flesh. He gave us his wisdom as a guideline. He gave us these scriptures as a guideline. You know, it tells you in the book of Romans the things that are written aforetime are for what? Our learning. What are the things written aforetime? The scriptures, man. So as we see the days approaching, these evil times approaching, we got to get more and more into the spirit, all right? More and more into the scriptures, all right? And understanding when something is um, um, expedient, understanding when something is not, because it's going to be a time that, that's going to come upon the earth, all right? And we may be down here, you know, and it's, it's not going to be a, um, a time to second guess. It's not going to be a time to get emotional. It's not going to be a time to buck up. It's just going to be a time to follow the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. All right. And that's, um, and in doing that is trusting in the Lord with all thy mind, or thy heart, as it says, which is thy mind, and leaning not into thy own understanding, man. This is, um,. All right, but yeah, that's why the scripture says that um, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, all right, and the strength of thy salvation. To, um, I think it, is, it was worded like that, all right, it's in the book Isaiah, but it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation, because this is, 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 is what's going to help us, you know, through these perilous times. Um, matter of fact, let me get the scripture. This is uh, Proverbs. This is Proverbs 30. All right, come. This is Proverbs 30 and 5. It says, every word of Yahweh is pure. He is a shield to them that put their trust in him. And that's what we're going to do, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, we're going to put our trust in the Most High, whether it be for our daily life, you know, how we deal with a situation amongst the brotherhood, how we may deal with a situation with a woman, how we may deal with a situation, all right, in our workplace or whatnot, in just our daily life. You know, the, the, the Lord is the word of the most high is pure, man. All right, let me read it again. It's Proverbs 30 and 5. Every word of Yahweh is pure. He is a shield to them that put their trust in him. And what is he shielding us from? This wickedness, man. These elements, all these wicked vibrations. That's around, all right, that's around in the earth right now, 
the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is what shields and covers and protect us from the, the, the fucking atrocities. All right, that's going on. Okay. This is, um, and yeah, I had made a statement that we didn't get this truth, you know, for no reason. All right. We got it to fight with it, to use it to shield us. This is uh, 1 Timothy's uh, fourth chapter. It says, uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 13. To like come give a, a attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee, because this truth is a gift, by prophecy. All right, and it was given to us by the prophecy. The Most High was waking up the elect, all right, and setting up the elect in the end of the days before this kingdom is destroyed. All right, now I'm going to read it again. This is... Uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 14, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. And the presbytery is the elder, the body of the elders, the leaders. All right. Meditate, verse 15, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly unto them that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed to thyself and unto the doctrine Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt save thyself and them that hear thee. He said, take heed to thyself and to the doctrine. Examine thyself and take heed to the doctrine, man. Examine thyself, man. Take heed to thyself and unto the doctrine. And in doing this, you're going to be saved, man. And them that hear thee. And that's, that's, that's our mission. We ultimately want to receive salvation. But we got to put our trust going back to the original scripture. So like, God. Going back to the original scripture, all right, and that was trusting in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah with all thy heart and leaning not to our own understanding. Because hey, we can't lean to our own understanding, our understanding is emotional, our understanding is um wicked, all right. Our understanding is wicked. Everything we knew prior to this truth, whether we've been in the truth three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven years, everything we knew prior to that was wickedness and foolishness, man. All right, and that's some of those the, those um weak elements that we tend to lean to sometimes because hey, we is in the flesh. The scripture tells you about that battle and all that's Romans the seventh chapter. The flesh warred against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. All right. This is um this is uh Romans. This is the book of Romans. 15 and verse 4, it says, For whatsoever things were written afore time were for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And that's A, and that's A, that's the deal right there, man. It said, Through faith, through comfort of the scriptures, we might have hope. But the things written afore time were for our learning. But we got to take heed to that, man. We We can't just... You know, take the scriptures as a um, a fucking um a Dr. Seuss book, cause that's that's not what it is. What it is, all right. This is the guideline to um salvation, all right. This is the guideline through salvation, and that's it. This is um, I think it's in Romans. Let me see. I want to get another scripture. I think it's in the book of Romans. Bear with me real quick. This is Romans. I'm not slow for my last three and bless them. Yeah, Yeah, here you go. Salaki, I took too long, man. This is um, Romans 13. I knew it was in Romans. This was Romans 13 and 13. It says, let us walk. Salaki, it was Romans 13 and 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And, and taking heed to the scriptures is us putting on the armor of light. Covering ourselves with this this um, this um 
clothing and this this war armor, so to speak, like it says in Ephesians, I think that's 5 and 11. All right. Well, uh, Ephesians 6. Um, I think it's Ephesians 6, about 13. Put on the whole armor, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. Verse 13, it says, let us walk honestly. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. Put ye on Yahweh, put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Exactly, make no provision for the flesh. Don't even open the door, you know, for this folly or for any folly, for the doubts. For or any other things that come with the flesh, man. We gotta nip that shit in the bud, man. And trust in Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah, especially for the times that's coming up. Alright, that's coming to this place. We got race riots on the way. We got martial law on the way. We got the RFID chip on the way. You definitely don't want it, which is the mark of the beast. You don't want to lean towards your own understanding when that comes around, man. Cause if you take that chip, you're done. Alright. But um Basically, it was just a little exhortation, brothers, and something I was, um, you know, meditating on. A couple of scriptures I was meditating on. Um, hopefully, this lesson was edifying, you know. I know it wasn't too exciting, but hey, this is exhortation, man. But, um, and admonishment. But, um, hopefully, this lesson was edifying. With that being said, all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and to the hopeful elect. I say, Shalom.